Well, after touching two and a half year highs yesterday, WTI attempted to extend its lead in the early going, largely on carryover support from um, the lack of Iran news with uh, hopes fading of any deal. Also, the supply conservatism and news flow from OPEC, uh, not to mention that a API's uh, data yesterday, a huge drop in inventories really set the tone. We got into the trading day, market was up most today, but it remained in a very, very tight range, um, really dependent on a lot of data. Um, housing data disappointed, we had housing starts, permits hit a seven month low, um, but we had EIA report and it was actually a mixed, a mixed bag. Inventories plunged 7.36 million uh, versus consensus of two and a half. Um, distill distillate stocks also unexpectedly dropped. Um, on the negative side, uh, production hit a one-year high and gas supplies are higher. Overall, EIA report was mixed, showing that inventories are about 5% um, below the five-year average, seasonally adjusted. Looking at options trading in July, um, the, the vol curve relatively uh, stable. One-month basis is trading about the 30th percentile. Um, we look at July skew. Skew is actually higher today. Um, both call wing and put wing are lower. However, the put wing is down, or the uh, down variance is down a lot more than the call wing, causing skew to go up. At the money vols moderately lower on the day. Looking at volume, uh, the volume leader seems to be the July 75 call, followed by 74 calls in July. On the put side, the action not as big seeing some volume clustered around the 72, 71 half and 71 strike in July.